Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Just wanted to follow up here with Brian Kite. He talks right off the bat about production mattering, you know, when he was hired by his dad. And I thought he really, uh, he really did a good job producing some content for you in this call. I hope that uh, you enjoyed it as much as I did. Of course, I, I told you I was a big fan of his and, and still am. I don't know where you're at. Maybe you knew Brian, maybe you didn't. Um, so if you didn't, you've got some great tools and, and places to go now to, to find out more about him and what he's doing. If you did, you know, just I would suggest to continue to to stay on that path. You know, he brought up some really good things, especially during this time, but probably any time that that we can do as leaders. You know, when when you dive into the culture right off the bat, you know, what what are some of those things right now that you know are driving your culture? What are what are some choices and and behavior? You know, in terms of what you do, what you don't do, and, and how you do it. I know he had mentioned those are really good. And, and I think identifying, once you identify what those are, you know, what are some mistakes that you're making right now within your culture? Uh, I think if you're going to be, if you're going to be truly honest with yourself, you know, I, I think then you have the opportunity then to build from that. If you're not, then, then you're hiding something or your, your team's not getting the best version of you. So just sit down, be honest, and decide, man, here's a couple of things that I could change. Here's a couple of things that I could get better at. And ultimately, find out what fits you the most. You know, he gave two examples of culture with, with Dabo Sweeney and Nick Saban. For those of you that don't maybe even know those guys, just know that culture can be different in a lot of places. And, and just make sure it's unique to you and your vision, and, and you're just hammering that home every single day. I uh, love the point at the end, too, about uh, him reading these old books and those withstanding over time. I, I thought that was really interesting. That's not something I've ever thought about before. So uh, definitely some good stuff today from Brian Kite. Hope you enjoyed it once again, and I look forward to uh, tomorrow's guest. All right, take care.